So funny. I forgot to turn on my out of office for today. So nagpalik ako na onte and I had to turn it on muna. When I say affordable, it doesn't really mean that it came from the drugstore or that's where it's available. It's more of, I try my best to find the more affordable and more, more cost-effective products or like dupes of the products that I'm currently using. So I've been using a lot of like Drunk Elephant, Tatcha, a lot of these very expensive brands. I've just come to a realization that for me to be able to maintain using this in my skincare routine, I'm actually needing to shell out a lot of money. So with the time right now, just rethinking where I'm spending my money and whatnot, I couldn't give up skincare. So what I did was I tried to find the more affordable products for my skincare routine. So now that I'm in my mid, kind of mid-20s, I'm starting to get into like anti-aging products and just really nailing down my skincare routine. I'm trying a bunch of products. I'm trying that 10-step skincare routine. Not really 10-step right now. It's like a 7-step skincare routine. And then just taking out products as I go, trying to see which ones will affect my skin and which ones I really need for my skincare routine. So I've had a request, yes, a request, because it's just like a comment uh, to post my skincare routine video. But yun nga yung sabi ko, um, I'm still trying to nail it down. I've been using a lot of different products. And thankfully, yung skin ko naman reacts well to these products and hindi naman masyadong problematic yung skin ko. So just so you guys know, I have dry to normal skin. So during the summer, it's very normal. During the winter time, which alam ko lang mga winter sa Philippines, pero when I go to like cold climates or places na mas malamig, nagdadry talaga, mas madaling mag-dry yung skin ko. And may tendency siya magkaroon ng dry patches. Now, over last winter, I've discovered a couple of different products that help my skin be well hydrated during the winter time. And hindi ako naka-experience ng dryness and whatnot. But yung nga yung sabi ko sa inyo, to be able to maintain these products, kailangan ko gumasas ng malaki because medyo mahal yung per product cost nila. So, I did my research and these are all the products that I got. A lot of these products here sa States, mas mura siya ng dihamak. Like super as in $5, $6, which is $250, pesos, $300. Pesos. Pero since imported siya, pag binili niyo siya dyan sa Philippines, medyo may kamahalan siya. Pero mas mura pa rin siya than their original high-end counterpart. So yun, just a quick explanation lang. Kasi baka mamaya sabihin niyo sa akin, hindi naman yun super affordable. Eh. Hindi naman yun like $300 pesos na mabibili ko sa Watsons. Hindi nga. Pero mas affordable siya kaysa dun sa ginagamit kong high-end. Hence the affordable skincare haul. As you can see, I have a bare face at the moment. Right now, I just had, I put on niacinamide serum, sunscreen, and moisturizer, and then I just combed my brows. Walang any makeup product on my face because since this, this is a skincare haul, I want to be able to show you guys what my skin looks like without makeup. So I've used a couple of these items already. So for those that I've used, I'll have like a mini review of how it's doing, but know that I've only been using it for about three to four weeks right now kasi kakakuha ko nga lang ng mga ito. Okay, so for the first step of the skincare routine, I um, take off my makeup and for the longest time, I've been using cleansing balms and I've tried a lot. I've tried the Drunk Elephant one, the Pharmacy Green Clean, Clean, Take the Day Off, Manila Co Clean at Zero, and I just thought, why not make a comparison video of all the cleansing bombs that I've tried? Now, granted, wala na ako dung mga ibang cleansing bombs. So, what I did was I ordered. So, some are coming in pa lang and some I have here. And then, I saw this video na meron daw yung ponds na cleansing bombs. So, I was so interested in that because sobrang mura niya. I think it was around 500 pesos or less pa nga, and it's available in Watsons. And whenever I do these hauls, whenever I film videos where I recommend products, I really think about the availability of the products and make sure that you're able to get them wherever you are in the Philippines. So as long as available siya online, I include it in my videos. Ito, medyo nahirapan ako bilhin to kasi sa Amazon lang siya available. So I got the Pond's Cleansing Balm. I got this for, I think, $10 here in the US. And when it arrived, vidlog ko yun. I think it was in my Korean barbecue vlog. I think lang. I'm not sure. I think it is. But anyway, when I got this, I, I tried it right away. And sobrang nagustuhan ko siya. Granted, I was only wearing like minimal makeup that day. Parang everyday makeup. Hindi ko pa to test out sa heavy na full glam makeup. But yun nga, for that video, I'll, I'll be sure to test this out. The only problem is, when this arrived, sobrang melted siya. Akala ko nga nung una, melted talaga siya. Kasi it says cold cream cleansing balm. So sabi ko, ah, okay, cream siya na cleansing balm. Hindi siya like yung parang solid na nagiging balm when you apply it on your face. Tapos I watched videos and okay, yung sa akin is defective kasi nag I guess under the sun because it got delivered in my house. So what I did was, nilagay ko siya sa ref, hindi pa rin sapat. So nilagay ko siya sa freezer, guys. 
And ayan, buo na siya ulit. So ito testing ko to, pero yun nga yung sinabi ko sa inyo, nung una ko naman siyang tinest, natanggal niya naman talaga yung makeup ko. So formula-wise, okay siya. But ayun lang, take it with a grain of salt because medyo nag-melt na to, tapos finreeze ko lang ulit para maging solid siya. So ayun, this is the first cleansing balm that I got. And then I went ahead and ordered the Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero from Ulta. And mas mahal yung mga K-beauty products dito compared dyan sa Manila, guys. Alam ko mas mura dyan. But I got the travel-sized version lang. Ayan, ang liit niya. Tapos wala siyang kasama nung spatula. I think this is... Um, this is only 25 milliliters or 0.84 fluid ounces. But like I said, I was I only bought this for the video. So sabi ko, sayang naman if I buy the full size. Tapos ako lang naman yung gagamit nito sa bahay. So ayan, travel size for when I travel again. Kung kailan mo yan, travel to a different room in this house. And then I used my rewards sa Sephora to get a trial version of the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. This is the current cleansing balm that I'm using. Tapos paubos na siya. So I, I feared that wala nang matitira by the time that I film my review video. Favorite ko to guys. Ito talaga yung super favorite ko na cleansing balm kasi natatanggal niya lahat. Like yung heroin make na mascara. Hindi ko na kailangan ng mascara remover and natatanggal niya. The only problem is meron tong polyethylene pet. PET, which is, you know, microplastics. There's no scientific research na nagpo-prove na nakaka-harm to sa skin nyo, but what it does, it can harm the oceans, like the environment, ganyan. So, a lot of cleansing bombs have that polyethylene kasi yun yung nagbabind ng bomb together. So, knowing that, after doing a lot of research, sabi ko, ano kayang alternative sa cleansing bomb na walang polyethylene? PET na lang, walang plastic. So, cleansing oil. Yung nagustuhan ko na cleansing oil is yung Tatcha na cleansing oil. And medyo mahal siya. I think it's $52 for the entire bottle. So I was looking for dupes because sobrang nagustuhan ko rin yun. I used that to take off my makeup. And like I said, yung parang, yung pang-test ko kasi yung heroin make na mascara. Kung natatanggal niya yung heroin make na mascara, ibig sabihin, sobrang galing niya. Kasi other makeup removers, like if I just use micellar water, it's not gonna take off my heroin make mascara. Kailangan ko talaga siya gamita ng mascara remover. So, when I tried yung Tatcha, okay, natatanggal niya lahat. But, sobrang mahal, 52. Tapos, kung araw-araw nagbi-makeup, which, araw-araw ako nagbi-makeup kahit nasa bahay lang ako, maubos agad yung pera ko. So, I looked online and si Kathleen Lights, nagustuhan niya to, Innisfree Hydrating Cleansing Oil with Green Tea. So, sobrang na-interested ako dito because it has green tea and, and green tea helps like pag yung may mga inflammation ka, parang na settle down niya. So, yung mga redness na ganyan. Yun yung alam ko, na nakaha, doon nakakatuloy yung green tea. Parang nasusooth niya yung skin mo. Ayun. So, I've been trying this and testing this out, I think, for about two weeks now. And so far, so good pa naman siya. And yun nga, sabi ko sa inyo, I'm going to do a full review on all of my makeup removing products. So, di ka ako masyado magsasalta about it. But so far, so good. It's only $22. So, half the less than half the price of yung Tatcha and it works perfectly. Yun nga lang, syempre, hindi kasing locks yung packaging. Sobrang plain niya lang. Pero at least, minimal naman siya na maganda pa rin siya tingnan dun sa bathroom countertop niyo. And it does the job. So, it comes with a lock right here. So, you can definitely travel with it. Kasi, huwag niyo tatapon to para pag nag-travel kayo, ayan, secure siya. Hindi siya matatapon. Hindi mapipress to. Tapos, you take it off and just squeeze it out. And a little goes a long way with this product as well. So, so far, I'm loving it. So, the next thing that you do after you take off your makeup and cleanse your face. Actually, you double cleanse. Pero I didn't need another cleanser kasi meron pa ako. Yung favorite ko talaga is yung Celtec Hydration Gel Cleanser. May isang bottle pa ako nun. Paubos na. So, hopefully, mawala na tong ECQ para makabili na ako ng isa pang bottle kasi sobrang hiyang ng skin ko sa gel cleanser na yun. Won't talk that much about it because like I said, I'll film a skincare routine video after. So, after I double cleanse my skin, um, I never really used a toner before kasi feeling ko lahat ng toner na try ko, na the dry skin ko, I tried Clinique and the Fresh Rose Hydration Toner. And to be fair, maganda yung fresh na toner, pero mahal din siya. So I was like, ano, kaya, ano pa kayang ibang toner na pwede kong gamitin na hindi nakaka-dry ng skin ko, pero it will do the job. So I did my research and sabi nga ng friend ko, hey Jelly, <laughs> sabi niya, maganda daw yung Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. So this is a two-in-one product. It's like a liquid-based formula. So parang watery siya. So it sinks, sinks in your skin right away. Pero yung finish niya, sobrang moisturizing. Parang feeling ko nag-moisturize moisturizer na ako. Yun lang yung problem ko sa kanya kasi minsan naiisip ko, ano ba to? Toner or moisturizer? Pang ilang ko ba dapat to nilalagay sa skincare routine ko? So, yun. I've been using this toner at night kasi for the morning parang feeling ko when I apply my makeup parang nakaklog na yung pores ko kasi sobrang dami ko nang na-layer na product. So, I'm still testing this out during the day and to make sure na it's light 
enough to be worn underneath my makeup and underneath all the products that I wear in the morning. But in fairness, sobrang nagustuhan ko siya because sobrang nalilive niya yung skin ko na plump lang talaga and really hydrated and moisturized. So, ayun. It's quite affordable actually and sobrang ganda dong cap niya kasi naglo-lock siya. So, wala talaga matatapon na product. And, ayan. Ang ganda lang talaga ng K-Beauty packaging, guys. Sobrang minimal niya and aesthetically pleasing. Okay. After toner, you use an essence now. So, I've never used an essence. So, I did my research and I found that yung SK2 Pitera essence sobrang ganda daw and very you know, it's nice for anti-aging and these things kasi you don't really notice a difference until you've used it for a while, like years, I think, bago mo makita yung difference on your face. And, ang mahal nung SK2, guys. 10,000 pesos talaga yun. So, nag-search ako, nag-search, ano pa bang okay na essence. So, K-Beauty na naman to. This is the Hand Skin Real Skin Real Complexion Hyaluron Skin Essence. So, like I said, I have normal to dry skin. So, anything that has hyaluronic acid really helps my skin look more hydrated and plump and really healthy, giving that nice radiant look. So, ayun, hyaluronic acid naman, it really works daw when you're in warmer environments kasi what it does, it, it attracts the moisture from the environment to your skin. So, kapag ginamit mo to, dur to during the winter time, parang it won't be as effective daw kasi wala siyang pagkukuhanan ng moisture. So, very, akala ko dati, ginagamit yung hyaluronic acid pag malamig kasi nga, yun yung kailangan mo. Pero hindi pala kasi wala din siyang pagkukuhanan ng moisture na yun. So, it thrives in the summertime kasi andun yung sobrang dami moisture, tapos ibibring niya lang yun sa skin mo. But anyway, so I've been using this for over a month now, and I've been loving it. Sobrang bilis niya lang mag-skin, mag-sink sa skin mo. So, hindi siya, hindi siya parang another layer on your skincare routine, because whenever I apply this, parang wala pang 5 minutes, nag-sink na siya sa skin ko. Parang water lang talaga siya. And I do feel that it makes my complexion a lot brighter and a lot less dull than it used to be. It, again, that could be psychological, because you don't really see the effectiveness of these products until you've used them for a while now but I've been loving it I don't think it makes me break out I do have some breakout on my forehead but I think that's because of my shampoo kasi sa forehead lang talaga ako nagbe-break out all over my face wala naman and hormones I'm on my period and not really the change in my skincare routine because sa all over my face wala naman akong breakout nasa forehead ko lang talaga and nag-change ako ng shampoo so ayun but anyway I'm deviating away from the skin essence so ayun nga ito, parang water lang. It's not harsh on your face and sobrang dali niya lang i-add sa skincare routine nyo. So, like I said, yung SK2 na, na essence is 10,000 pesos. Ito, I think I got this here sa States ng $23 lang. So, 1,000 plus. Pero, sinurge ko to sa Philippines, sa Lazada, they're selling it for 3,000 pesos. I know that's a lot, but if you're looking into getting into an essence, mas mura siya dun sa SK2 na Pitera. And I looked up yung ingredients niya then Yung first three ingredients nitong Hyaluron Skin Essence is also part of the first five ingredients of the SK2 Pitera na essence. So this one doesn't have lang the sodium benzoate and the methyl paraben and the sorbic acid. But it has, you know, the first five ingredients is water, glycerin, and butylin glycol. Sorry, I'm reading my notes right here. And pentylene glycol. I'll break that down, like what it does for your skin on my skincare routine video because this is more of like a haul. That's what led me into getting the Hyaluron Skin Essence because I just couldn't shell out that much money kasi yung whole point ko nga of doing this affordable skincare is finding the dupes of the very high-end and very expensive products. So after Essence are Serum. So I've been using the Drunk Elephant Serums for a while now. I use the TLC Glycolic Frambu Serum for my nighttime serum. That's an AHA BHA blend. It's a chemical exfoliating product. So what you do is instead of like, using physical exfoliators like yung mga scrub, ganyan, you just put on the serum tapos as you sleep, nag-exfoliate na siya on its own. So AHA exfoliates like the surface of your skin para ma-renew siya the next day. Kaya pag after nyo gumamit ng mga any chemical exfoliator, mas brighter yung complexion nyo because mas healthy na siya. Natanggal niya na yung mga dead skin cells on the surface. Pero iba pa yung mga nagogo deep into your pores. And then for my daytime serum naman, I used to use yung Drunk Elephant Sitang. Sitang go ba yun? Basta yung vitamin C serum nila. And super expensive though. I think it's $80 per bottle and it lasts me for about 4 months. So, ang dami naman yung laban. Pero again, medyo mahal siya i-maintain. So, naghanap ako and ang dami nag-rave about the ordinary and it's a lot more affordable than the Drunk Elephant ones. And then I did find another glycolic serum 
dupe as well. But first, let's talk about The Ordinary. I got three products from The Ordinary. And the first one that I got, the 10% niacinamide and 1% zinc. So niacinamide down really helps with anti-aging, yung mga little blemishes mo on your skin, while the zinc naman controls the oil. Nung ni-research ko to, ang nag-sync in lang sa akin is anti-aging, blemishes, ganyan. Pero hindi ko na-realize na it helps control control oil na hindi ko naman kailangan. So I've been using this in the morning and the evening um as my daily serum kasi hindi na muna ako nagbe-vitamin C. Just because ang hirap i-maintain ng vitamin C, medyo mahal siya and wala pa ako nahanap the dupe for that. I know the ordinary also has the vitamin C pero di masyado maganda yung reviews doon and everybody raves about the niacinamide. So I've been using this and like I said, I can't really attest to whether my blemishes are gone or not because mga three weeks ko palang to nagagamit and I can't really see that right now. Siguro and after a few months I'll know. Pero okay naman siya. So I just put um like five drops of it. Dati, inuubos ko yung nasa buong... Hindi ko pa pala pinapakita sa inyo kung saan siya nakalagay. Ayan, ganito yung packaging niya. So, you use a dropper to apply it. And I highly recommend when you do use the dropper, drop it in your hand and not directly on your face. I know madami kayo nakikita sa Instagram videos, ganyan, directly on their face. Pero wag daw because tendency na ma-infect nyo or malagyan ng you know, dumi yung pinaka-dropper. Tapos, pag binalik nyo siya dun sa bottle, edo yung buong bottle nyo, madami ng dumi. But anyway, I just used like five drops of this. Dati, fini-finish ko yung na laman ng dropper. Pero na-realize ko, sobrang dami nun. So, five drops is enough for in your, your entire face. And it sinks in right away. Like, five minutes, you're good. So, I try my best to face out. Hindi ko siya, like, layer lang ng layer nilalagay. Nag-iintay ako ng five to ten minutes before I layer products on top of each other. So, the next item that I got is the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. So the rose hip seed oil naman has like vitamin A which are retinoids. So again, anti-aging din siya. So I layered this on top of my ni niacinamide zinc serum because walang active ingredients yung rosehip oil safe siya i layer on top so you can't really layer products like if you have like AHAs tapos vitamin Z or zinc ganyan you can't layer it on top of each other because madami siyang active ingredients it will ruin like the pH level so magiging in inactive siya and mawawalan siya ng use or purpose hindi siya mag hindi siya gagana on your skin so para kalang naglagay ng serum tapos wala siyang ginawa but anyway the rosehip seed oil is safe naman daw to layer on top of anything because it doesn't have active ingredients. The only thing is, oil can be unstable under the sun. I don't recommend using this in the morning. I usually apply this at night. So after my niacinamide serum, this is what I apply after. And then I go in with the moisturizer. Some will say na moisturize first and then oil. Pero gumagana naman to sa akin. For me ha, gumagana siya na oil, itong oil muna. Then my moisturizer. Sobrang dali niya lang din mag-sink in for an oil. I think it takes me like 15 to 20 minutes. Medyo matagal. Pero for an oil, I think that good enough. Ayan. Ayan yung color niya. Medyo yellowy. So, medyo hindi siya aesthetically pleasing. But, you know, if it works, it works. And then, the next thing that I got is my dupe for my TLC Sukari Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant. That is an AHA BHA blend as well. And it has I forgot how much percentage percentage of BHA, pero medyo mataas siya. So, if mataas yung percentage ng BHA, kailangan mo siya i-rinse off. Unlike a glycolic serum na mostly AHAs, ito masyado siyang strong na makakaramdam ka ng tingling effect and it will be har harmful on your skin. You do have to rinse it off after a few minutes. So, the BHAs, yun naman yung nag-exfoliate deep into your skin. So, sobrang love ko yung TLC Sukari Baby Facial ko. I use it like once a week and sometimes pag sobrang good skin month ko, every other week. Pero pag nakikita ko na, na nagkaka-breakout na ako ganyan, I immediately use it. Tapos the next day, sobrang okay na ng skin ko ulit. Na, as in, nadideclog niya talang talaga yung pores ko. So, naghanap ako. Ano kayang magandang dupe for that? Because, medyo mahal din siya. I think the full bottle is $80. And si The Ordinary, meron siya nitong AHA, 30% AHA and 2% BHA solution. So, parang ganun din siya. I haven't really used this kasi inuubos ko pa yung Sukari Baby Facial ko. Pero, ayun. Mukha siyang dugo, guys. Like I said, hindi ko pa nga ito nagagamit. I'm excited to try it. Kasi sobrang mas murat. I think this was only $10. And I think a little goes a long way as well. And like I said, it's an AHA, BHA blend. I have nothing else to say because I haven't really tried this. And then another product that's also comparable to this is a clay mask. So I just bought the Laneige 
water clay mask. This is, I think, something similar to the Aztec healing clay mask. I've used this once. They say you can use it once or twice a week. Like I said, I have been having breakouts right here and parang mga two weeks na, hindi pa siya nag-dry up, hindi pa siya nag-flatten, ganyan. Tapos after ko to gamitin, the next day parang wala na. Hindi naman wala na, pero nag-dry up na siya and nag medyo nag-calm down na yung pimples ko. Ang sarap lang ng feeling niya sa mukha kasi parang nagtitighten talaga yung face mo. Pero not that bad naman. Parang you leave it on for 20 minutes lang tapos you'll see like the mga holes on your face and it's very satisfying. Like seeing that just makes me think that it's really working. I mean, God knows if it is really working but it felt like it was and then it also came like with like a sponge that you can use to wipe off any residue after you rinse your face that's yon it wasn't that drying as well because it's a very hydrating clay mask and that's how they market it so it's perfect if you have like normal to dry skin like me and scared kay gumamit ng mga aztec healing clay mask kasi nga sobrang nakaka dry sa ng skin yo so yon highly recommend this if you're looking for something like a water clay mask because this one is or hindi ko but ba hindi ko tinatanggal sa package yung lahat nasa box anyway ayan siya tapos yung as the clay mask kasi is a powder mask na you, you mix it in with water tapos ikaw yung gagawa sabi nila mas okay daw yun kasi mas longer yung shelf life mas maiksi yung shelf life pag ganto pag yung naka hydrated na siya pero so far okay naman siya and ang sabi dito it's good for 6 months so I'll definitely be using this once or twice a week kasi nga ayoko naman mag-expire lang siya sa akin tapos baka pagamit ko na din kay daddy kasi feeling ko talaga nalinis yung pores ko dito lalo na dito sa port na to lagi ako may redness just tapos parang ang dumi-dumi lang nung gilid ng nose ko tapos parang now parang okay naman siya and once ko pa lang siya nagagamit so hopefully it will get the job done if I use it like twice a week talaga like it said so sorry nag-jump off tayo from like serious to that water clay mask. But anyway, like I said nga kanina, nakahanap ako ng glycolic serum na dupe. And that's the Pixi Glow Tonic. Ang daming reviews na nagsasabing maganda raw to. So I was like, sige na nga, itry ko para malaman natin. Kasi sobrang mas inexpensive din siya than the gly glycolic serum. The glycolic serum is like $80 to $100. Ito, $24 lang. Here is what it looks like. Hindi ko pa nga ito natitry kasi inuubos ko muna yung glycolic serum ko para hindi naman masayang yun. Ayan, it, it comes in a glass box. Bottle. Tapos, again, with a dropper then. So, excited na ako to use this. It's also a chemical exfoliant. Sabi nila, okay din daw gumamit ng chemical exfoliator sa morning. Pero, ayoko i-risk yun kasi hindi ko naman kailangan. Okay, so next up is moisturizer. So, I have two right here. And one is for my daytime moisturizer and one is for my nighttime moisturizer. For my daytime moisturizer, I like something super light and something that's like a gel-like formula so that it sinks in super quickly on my skin. It's not that thick that it will clog my pores after I apply some makeup para hindi kumapal yung layers na nilalagay ko sa face ko. Why do I feel like magkakasing ako? But anyway, so I've been loving the Tatcha Water Cream for a while because sobrang nipis niya lang and whenever I apply it on my skin, parang sobrang bilis lang niya mag-sink in sa skin ko. It's super lightweight, pero it's still hydrating to my face and very moisturizing. Not really hydrating, but more on moisturizing. That tub is $68, so medyo pricey siya talaga. And that is actually my first full-size tub. Pero sobrang nagustuhan ko kasi yung sample size. It's what made me purchase this new one. So, naisip ko rin, syempre ang mahal din nun. And moisturizer is something na nauubos ko talaga. And for me to keep up with that, that's around, what, $140 per year? Kung makadalawang tub ako. So, I looked for what dupe yung maganda. And sabi nila, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. And this is also available at Watson's, I believe, or Lazada. I'll put like links in the description box on where to buy these items. But I assure you that all of these items that I'm mentioning are available in the Philippines, Sephora, PH, V2 Manila, Lazada. Some are in Shopee. I'm, I can't remember. Basta lahat yun nilook up ko before I purchased it. But anyway, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel, I think I got this for like $20. So it's one third of the price of the water cream and I've used this twice na. It's what I used on my face today rin. It's really lightweight and it's very comparable. The only problem I have with this is may fragrance siya. So maaamoy mo talaga. But as you can see, sobrang nipis niya lang din. And it's very moisturizing. So that's what I like about this. Hopefully, hindi ako mag-break out sa fragrance. You can definitely smell the fragrance. It's similar. The smell is similar to their sunscreen if you've tried um, Neutrogena sunscreen before. But it's not as irritating. Hindi naman amoy matanda. Ang amoy matanda is yung next na moisturizer na i-mention ko. So for my nighttime moisturizer, I like something a little bit heavier. So yung mga moisturizing mask, ganon. To be honest, feeling ko yung mga moisturizing mask 
in reality, moisturizer din yan, mas makapal lang. So, tinatawag lang nilang mask kasi I feel like yung mask na term for marketing, mas nakaka-attract siya ng mga consumers because for them, mas effective yung mask. And for me, honestly, that's something that works on my mind. Na pag nakita ko, okay mask, okay sobrang moisturizing yan. I've tried a lot na yung Glow Recipe na overnight watermelon mask, something like that. And then yung Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. Sobrang in love ako dun sa Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. Pero nirecommend din to sa akin ng friend ko. So, Laneige product na naman because sobrang dami ko pinapanood na K-drama and mahilig siya sa skincare. And from what I've researched, sobrang advanced ng skincare technology ng Koreans. So, Laneige, Korean brand, made in Korea. So, why not? Try natin. And hindi siya super expensive. Ah. Good K-beauty. A lot of their products are very effective, pero hindi siya sobrang mahal. This is the Laneige Sleeping Care Water Sleeping Mask. And I really love this. I've used this a couple of times na din. Hindi pa lagi because sinasanay ko yung skin ko with my other skincare products. Hindi ako nag add ng bagong skincare product like all at the same time. Ginagawa ko like at least one per week lang para makikita ako kung paano nagre-react yung skin ko and kunyari mag-breakout ako. Alam ko kung ano yung bago sa skincare routine ko. It comes with a spatula similar to yung lip mask nila. Ang problem ko lang dito is, sana nilagyan din nila ng parang magnet on top. Kasi yung drunk elephant na makeup cleansing balm, may kasama siyang spatula. Pero may magnet siya. So, hindi... Pwede mo siya ipatong lang dyan, tapos hindi siya mawawala. Yung problem ko kasi dito, yung nangyari sa lip slip ng mask ko, sobrang burr ako, nawala ko siya. But anyway, other than that, sobrang love ko to for night time because it really leaves my skin very hydrated. And when I, when I wake up, nakikita ko na well hydrated yung balat ko, na hindi siya mukhang dull, ganyan. Parang ang bright ng complexion and ng radiant ng complexion ko. Ayan, onti pa lang yung nagagamit ko. It's very lightweight too, compared to all the other masks that I've used ito para lang siyang regular gel moisturizer when it comes to the weight on my skin. Yun nga, yun sinasabi ko sa inyo, may fragrance na ito, it's very strong, and they say it's a relaxing fragrance na maiisip mo, okay, it's time to sleep na pag nagamit mo to. Pero for me, yung vibe niya is mala, alam niya yung Coty Airspawn, di ba medyo amoy matanda yun, amoy lola, medyo ganun yung amoy niya, pero naka- Ewan ko kung nakaka-relax ba. For me kasi, at night, whenever my, I do my skincare routine, nafe-feel ko na, okay, this is my downtime, na ito na yung time na mag relax na yung skin ko. And sobrang nasanay ako na ganun. So, after I apply my moisturizer, nakakatulog na din talaga agad ako. So, hindi ko alam kung itong fragrance ba yun or it's my mind na, okay, this is your routine at night. This is the time to relax and fall asleep. So, yun. This is the last moisturizer that I got. And then, I bought another Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So, I've already ran out of this one. This one is actually my first tub. And as you can see, ubus na ubus na talaga siya. And I have this for two years this May na. And ngayon ko lang siya na ubus. So, it really lasts you a long time. Sabi dun sa bottle, um, as you can see here, dyan kasi meron yung parang little sign na naka-open na jar, tapos may how many months na nakalagay. And it says the shelf life is only 12 months. Pero nag-2 years to sa akin, guys. And hindi naman siya sumama or hindi naging funky yung lasa, yung lasa, yung amoy niya, yung consistency niya, the same pa rin as I, similar to how it was nung bago ko siyang binuksan. So, ginamit ko pa rin siya nang ginamit. And ayan, ubos na. So, su sobrang sulit niya. $20 to. Pero binibili ko siya pag 20% off sale para $18 na lang. Ay, $16! Sorry, hindi ako marunong magbat. $16 na lang siya. And sobrang sulit. Kasi for 2 years mo siyang gagamitin. And ever, ever since I used this, hindi na masyado yung nagbabakbak yung lips ko. And nagsusugat. Kasi sobrang prone ako dun. Kahit na sobrang dami ko iniinom na water. When I go to bed and pagising ko, sobrang chap ng lips ko. As in sugat-sugat. Ganun na lang na pag winter time. Pero ever since using this, hindi na yung nangyayari sa akin. Unless makalimutan kong gumamit na to. So, ito, hindi siya like solution na, kunyari, gamitin pa siya for a couple of weeks. After this, sobrang plump na ng lips. So, hindi. Kailangan mo siya gamitin every night talaga. Like, you have to maintain it. Pero, sulit pa rin siya kasi, hello, $16. Tapos, 2 years mo siya magagamit. So, yeah, that is everything that I got, like, skincare-wise. Nag-focus talaga ako sa skincare because I felt like I have a lot of makeup na. And usually, pag makeup, pinibili ko na lang, kunyari, may new release and a very um, 
curious and want to know more about it, dun ko lang siya binibili. Pero hindi ko na ginagawa yung bumibili ako ng madaming makeup na nare-rave ng mga tao because ang dami ko pa and, and nasasayang talaga siya. Usually ngayon ang binibili ko na lang mga lippies kasi na-enjoy ko talaga gumawa ng mga lip swatch videos, ganyan. But anyway, skincare is something that I want to dive in a little bit deeper as I age. Kaya nag age yung balat is mas babagal na mag-regenerate yung cells. So kunyari, nasugat ka, nagka-scar, mas matagal na siya mag heal hence the mga blemishes on your face because mas babagal na nga yung cell regeneration. So all these items are just to help speed that process, not really speed that process up, but really help your cells regenerate. Kunyari, your hydrating products kasi are very helpful in that process. So kaya a lot of the products that I have are hydrating products. So hyaluronic acid, mga ganyan, ganyan. I'm super like talkative when it comes to these videos, but I try to share what I learned or what I know about like the products to you guys para it really helps you if you need it talaga in your life or if you wanna buy it, alam nyo kung para saan siya or ano yung mga laman niya, ganun. I'll go into a more in-depth skincare videos on like the ingredients of the products and like comparing um the more expensive product with the dupe that I bought. Kasi originally I was gonna make it for this video pero na-realize ko because it it's gonna be super long and I'm not gonna be able to talk about the product talaga because I've only used it for a couple of weeks. But let me know if you've tried any of these products. Like I said, I really I really wanted to make an affordable skincare routine. In affordable siya in the sense that it's a lot cheaper than my usual go-to high-end skincare products. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you found it very helpful. Once again, it's Eunice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!